Max transfer speed of your PlayStation 4 Blu-ray drive, 27 megabytes per second. Max transfer speed of your PlayStation 4 internal hard drive, 180 megabytes per second. Max transfer speed of your PlayStation 4 solid state drive, up to 550 megabytes per second. Any way you slice it, it makes sense to dump your disk to your internal storage to get maximum performance from your PlayStation 4. And that's exactly what you're going to learn in this video. All the steps are included, and we're starting now. Be sure to check the video description for the latest show notes and updates. You'll also find links to products and websites featured in the video. You'll need a jailbreakable PlayStation 4 for this process to work, and the first step in the process is to initiate the jailbreak. Go to the internet browser and access the jailbreak of your choice. In this case, I'm using the Haku Raifu, I think I pronounced that right, Haku Raifu website. Once your exploit site has come up, access either Mira or Goldhen. In this case, I'm going to use Goldhen. I found that it works pretty reliably with my PlayStation 4 Pro, which I'm using in this video. By the way, if you need to learn how to jailbreak your PlayStation 4, I have a link for that in the description below. Once you have the jailbreak exploit up and running on your PlayStation 4, press the PlayStation button to go back to the main menu. Insert the game disc you want to dump over to your PlayStation 4's internal storage. For this demonstration, I'm using Tempest 4000. It's a great game and it's easy to work with. Your console will install the game to your internal storage for play with the disc in the drive. Once the game's installation process is complete, press the X button to launch it. Allow the game to boot all the way up to its main menu, usually a press start screen. With the disc still spinning in the drive, press the PlayStation button to go back to the main menu. Then navigate back to Internet Browser and select it with X to launch it. Go back to the exploit page. And once it's loaded, you'll need to insert an XFAT formatted USB drive into the rightmost port on your PlayStation 4. The game's contents on the hard drive will be dumped to your USB media. Navigate to the listing for App Dumper and select it with the X button to launch it. Once the App Dumper exploit has completed loading, what happens is it actually takes all of that installed content from your disk that was installed to your internal storage and it converts it over into several files and folders which we'll take a look at in just a moment. Depending on the size of your game, this can take from several minutes to an hour or longer. Just be patient. And depending upon your PlayStation 4, it will either notify you that the extraction process is complete and it's quitting the program, or it may turn off your PS4. Either way is fine. Once the process is complete, remove the USB storage from the right side of your PlayStation 4's USB ports and insert it into your PC. Hey, if you're seeing value in this video, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out when new content is posted to the channel. You'll also join our incredible community of gamers, and you belong here with us. I've got a file hosted on Google Drive that has all of the files that you need for this process to work on your PC. It's linked for you in the description below. Navigate to the download link and click on it. And then on the subsequent page, again, navigate to download and click on it. In your downloads folder, uncompress the file that you just downloaded. You can uncompress it directly into the downloads folder as it will uncompress one folder and two files that you need and that's it. If you want to move these later, that's no problem. You can always drag and drop them anywhere on your PC that you need to store them. Once you've got this uncompressed, delete the compressed file in order to eliminate clutter out of the downloads folder. If you haven't already, go ahead and insert your USB drive from your PlayStation 4 into your PC. On the right hand side of the screen, these are the contents of the USB drive that were dumped from the PlayStation 4. There's a folder with the name app at the end of it. Those are the game files. There's a listing for patch. That's any patches you install to games on your PlayStation 4 console. And you'll see one that says complete. If you see that file, it means everything was pulled from your PS4 and installed on your USB. If you don't see complete, go back and run the dump process again. Run the gengp4.exe file you previously downloaded. You'll need to give this file administrative privileges for it to do its job. And at the UAC prompt, click on yes. Once the program is launched, you'll need to tell it where the path to your game folder is located. That's the one with the dash app in the end of the name. Click on this button to browse for the folder. Scroll down through the list until you see your USB drive represented. Then double click on the USB drive name. You'll see the folder name there with the dash app at the end of it. Single click on that and then click on OK. Near the top right corner, click on Generate GP4. Once the file's been generated, don't overlook this very important step. It does not automatically save for you. Click on Save GP4 in the top right corner. As long as you have the space for it, it's just as easy to save the GP4 file right back onto the USB storage device that you used previously with your PS4. Make sure you've selected the USB and click on Save. You're done with Gen GP4 at this point. You can click the red X in the top right corner to close it out and go back to your file explorer windows. 
Next up, navigate to your downloads folder and double click into the fake PKG tools folder. Inside this folder, you want to locate a file that's called orbis.pub.gen. Once you've located the file, double click on it or run it as administrator if you have such privileges on your machine. And at the UAC prompt, click yes. If you haven't previously done this, you'll be prompted to install the Microsoft.NET framework. This is completely legit, it's real Microsoft software, and completely safe. And you'll have the benefit of having this framework installed on your PC for future projects when you need it. Once the framework installation is complete, navigate down to the bottom right corner and click on close. Now you'll need to relaunch orbis.pub.gen. Navigate back to that file inside your downloads folder, inside the fake PKG tools folder, and run it. And again, at UAC, click yes. This time, the orbis.pub.gen interface will appear. The program needs to know where your GP4 file is located. Click on file in the top left corner, scroll down to open, and click on it. In this case, the GP4 file is located on the USB storage device. So I'm going to navigate to the USB storage device, and then scroll down to the GP4 file, and then select it to open it. Click on the file, and then click open. Near the top right corner of the orbis.pub.gen interface, you'll see the text build. Click here. This pulls up the build options menu. There are only two options you need to be concerned with. Let's zoom in and take a look. The first one is to come down and click on the checkbox next to moddable package file. We're going to need to run a mod on the package file once it's built. You'll also need to tell the program where to save the file. In the bottom right corner, click select to choose the path where you want to save the file. In this case, I'm going to put it right back on USB storage because I've got plenty of it. Click save, and then in the bottom right corner, click build. This converts the GP4 file into a package file that you can install natively on your PlayStation 4. Once the build is complete, close out the window by clicking the red X. Then you can close out Orbis Pub Gen by clicking the red X in the top right corner. Back in the fake package tools folder, locate the patch.bat file and double click on it to run it. It opens up a text file with three questions to answer. Let's go over them one by one. The first one is what drive is your package file located on? Just type the lowercase letter that designates your drive. In this case, it's drive D. Press enter and you'll be asked for your keystone path. Here's how you find that. On your USB drive, navigate to the folder with app at the end and double click into it. You'll find a folder in here called SCE underscore SYS. Double click into that folder. Scroll through the list of files and folders until you find Keystone. Right click on the Keystone file and select Properties. Inside the Properties window, you'll see a listing for location. This is what you'll need to copy over and put into the batch file. Just drag over all of this, but don't use the right click copy. Use Control C to copy instead. Then back in the batch file, press Control V on the keyboard to paste in this information. Press enter on the keyboard and you'll be prompted to enter your package file name. You'll find this right back on your USB drive. You can close out the properties window and then navigate to your package file in the USB drive. You'll want to copy all of the information that is listed in the name of your package file, including the .pkg extension. When you click on a file name, Windows typically does not include the extension, so you'll need to include everything including the extension, then press Ctrl-C to copy it. Then navigate back to the batch file window and press Ctrl-V to copy this information in. Press the Enter key, the process will run, and your package file will be patched and ready for use. Press any key to continue, then you can close out any open instances of File Explorer, Remove the USB drive from your PC and put it right back into the rightmost port on your PlayStation 4. In this instance, when App Dumper completed, it did not shut down the PlayStation 4, but if yours did, you'll need to reboot it and reinitialize the jailbreak. Go ahead and eject the game disk from your PS4. Before you install the new package file version of your game to your hard drive, delete any existing information from the current game off the hard drive. Press the menu button to pull up the side cart menu, then scroll down to delete and select it with the X button. And at the confirmation prompt, select OK with X. With the jailbreak running on your PlayStation 4, push the D-pad to go up to the top menu, and then over to the right to settings and select it with the X button. Once you're inside the settings menu, use the D-pad to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the list of choices to debug settings and select it with the X button. Inside debug settings, select game with the X button. 
Inside the game menu, scroll down until you get to Package Installer and select that one with the X button. It will look for your USB storage and you'll see the package file listed here. Select it with the X button to install the package file with your game. This can take from a few seconds up to a few minutes depending upon the size of the game. Once you're done, you'll get a pop-up notification in the top left corner that your package file has been installed successfully. Then you can press the circle button repeatedly to go all the way back to the PlayStation 4 main menu. Scroll down to the game tiles and you'll find your game newly installed just to the left of the web browser. Select it with the X button and it will launch from your hard drive or solid state storage, no disk required. And for more great PlayStation 4 content, check out this video here, shown on screen and linked in the pinned comment and description below. I'll see you there.